This is the first official ramble video of the 2024. It doesn't even sound right to say it yet. The 2024 calendar year. And usually around this time of year, I'm thinking ahead and, oh man, I wonder what the next year has in store. But honestly, December flew by so fast. I want to do videos talking about time moving more quickly, but that's kind of one of those topics where I don't know exactly what to say about it other than stuff that I've already talked about before. But it certainly felt that time just flies by these days in a way that it didn't used to. And so I don't know if that's part of it or I'm just so jaded and burnt out by this point. I haven't been thinking ahead. Maybe it's just sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. Sometimes all we can do is just make it through each day and that's okay. So yeah, 2024, it should be an interesting year. It almost went out of my mind how the the 2024 is going to be a huge year most likely because well we have this 2024 eclipse which is the second it's like the closing bookend of the seven years ago there was an eclipse when all sorts of crazy revelations for many of us were going on so it should be an interesting year i should be excited about it something that came into my mind is to always stay ready and that's something that can easily get forgotten when every day becomes kind of a chore and groundhog day when you know that all the world's a stage and it's all fake and you shut out from everything it, it, you can start to kind of seek disassociative states of just zoning out day after day and so it's good to stay ready in those moments to try to remember the big picture that uh, we figured this all out and that the final message is Jesus Christ, that Jesus is the Messiah and the only way out of this hellish place. But hopefully sooner rather than later, the shit is going to hit the fan for reals. And I still strongly believe that we are on the edge of revelation in a way that other generations before us you know, people will, will always come out of the woodwork that, oh, every every generation people are saying that it's the end of the world. And I do think that God does put that urgency in every generation, should have that urgency in their heart. Ever since Jesus, I think that God has put it on each generation. But I also reject the 2,000 year narrative. I think Jesus was probably here on earth less than 2,000 years ago. Um, Oh man, this is already an epic ramble. I'm saying so many things that... I didn't know I was going to say coming into this video, but it's good to get him out of the way. Yeah. <clears throat> so what, what did get me to do this video? Well, what I'm looking on the screen, there's certain things that I've learned throughout the years that will just never, I'll never be the same. And I say this sometimes where I talk about BAFO culture and I say how it can be as easy as watching TV with your children and letting them know, hey, check out the hand signs that the people are throwing around. Oh, oh, or like orange. Wow, isn't that a strange orange uh, get up that that lady's wearing there? Pay attention to orange and, and on the TV. It can be simple little things like that that people say to their children or their whatever, people in their lives that, that let them know about the BAFO culture. And one of the important things, just as important as orange or 33, is bone structure. And it is one of those nagging little things throughout my life that it would stick out to me, like a memory about something relating to bone structure. And not until much later in my life did I realize how important it was. And that there's a reason that people out there uh, mention bone structure so much. It's not as, I don't know superficial as it might seem there's hidden knowledge there and there's a reason that they're obsessed with it there's for whatever reason this comes to my mind that it always was so silly to me growing up there would be these boys that would cross their arms and like they would clearly be pushing out the fat on their arms to make it look like they're more muscular that was such a bizarre concept to me i'm like do you guys not think that people know that you're not like super strong and that you're just shoving your arms like your hands underneath their arms, like, <laughs> but there's a whole class of people that that's how they live. Fake it till you make it glamour. What, what they're practicing is glamour magic. Mewing. Why is mewing a thing? 
<laughs> Why do huge amounts of people... And then you realize that there's this, like, society out there that knows about this stuff and talks about it, and I've always been talking about this stuff. And in the dark, you're like... You may be exposed to it, but you're just thinking, man, what's with these weirdos? <laughs> Um, so to get into, I'm going to go through the slides now. I think I've done enough rambling. Uh, welcome to 2024. I'm still going to make videos. I'm so appreciative for anybody who decides to watch my rambles or leave comments, or I really feel a connection to a lot of you who woke up. I'm going to do a little bit of reminiscing today about the past. Let's read this. Women, uh, women, she might decide they had weak shoulders or low ears. Low ears will forever be a trigger for me. And it has to do with transvestigation. It has to do with so much. And uh, for me personally. And it's... A, it. Why would somebody bring that up? There's just this huge thing. This huge double standard in society. On one hand, and this is the programming that for the low level. The lowest level gets this programming. All shapes and sizes. People come in all shapes and sizes. And you should never look at somebody or comment on their appearance or make any note about their particular appearance. That's low, lowest level, keep you in the dark programming. And parts of it are true in that today, people do come in all sorts of shapes and sizes. But the, the ultimate truth of this is bone structure and learning male bone structure versus female bone structure. And it, just coming to terms and accepting, okay, some men are going to have more feminine features. Some female are going to have more male features. But there is there is a difference, you know. There, that's a difference between an awoke person and a sleep person. And a sleep person will just shrug it off, and they won't be able to admit having large, square shoulders is masculine. You know, that's just one of the truths of this place is understanding that there is a male skeleton system and a female skeleton system whether or not that's going to match up with people's genitalia today completely different story uh but anyways you'll notice and this is i noticed i was watching a video about narcissistic personality disorders and what's most hilarious is in this video the guy says that his mom actually looked like b arthur <laughs> and people people would mention hey your mom looks like b arthur and yet this person's mom would always make comments about people's appearance on the tv and the low ear one that is hidden knowledge hidden uh transvestigation knowledge the low ear thing so now i'll, I'll low ears angelina jolie versus brad pitt they they also angle back something about the low angled back ears that's the masculine the more vertically facing higher up attached ears that's feminine again there's it's going to be variance in today's population but there's this thing understanding bone structure admitting that there's differences in bone structure and paying attention to it i mean really paying attention is the the thing that people just don't do they they get the 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 masses to not pay attention and to believe that all shapes and sizes which okay sure <laughs> But in the beginning, right, in the beginning with Adam and Eve, was it all shapes and sizes or was there a male paradigm and a fe female one that God made and that by now things have been so mixed up, jumbled up. That's why today things are so out of control. Uh, let's reminisce for a second. The low ear thing. This is... I never heard any Transvestigation channel talk about this at all except... You're you're an original if you know Nettie No Johnson, and if you were around for that, Nettie No Johnson was the only person who I ever heard bring up no ear or low ears, and it was in such a like not making a big deal out of it, just mentioning it in one video and not backing up her sources or anything like that. That is hidden knowledge. Nettie No Johnson was is like Alaskan native and we know about the natives the natives know about these two two spirit people they know about skulls and bones surely some of them and they pass off that knowledge to their their children the natives are all about passing off hidden knowledge to their children and then feeding the rest of us a bunch of bs so yeah i don't know if you guys remember the whole Nettie no johnson thing but she's the one who mentioned that lo having low ears was masculine and Anyways, um, so that's some reminiscing. This is a cool photo. This is something I, I don't see people talk enough about how 
the the things in the sky, the planets, they look exactly like what it looks like to look through microscopes or to look through binoculars. The firmament is a giant lens. There could be other lenses happening up there. I have no idea. Um, another cool topic are all the, the crazy lenses, the high-tech old world lenses. How if you look at the lenses that were in lighthouses, there's whole museums to this stuff in France and stuff. How that's part of old world tech is um, very, very advanced knowledge of lenses. Fresnel lenses, is that the word? It's just a meme. <laughs> this was, I forget when this came up. I think I just knew, I was looking up low ear stuff and I knew that this person had really low angled back ears. And look at the orange that they chose for the color of their book and how it's a, a separated off Illuminati triangle for the A. Anyways. The America I thought I grew up in, the America I actually live in. More orange happening. She was the baddest. He was the realist. Dude, I just something about this screamed dude in that left picture. And the other one looks like, you know, such a man. <laughs> yeah, this is a ramble. This is just an ad, which is ridiculous. What do I even have in here? There, here's my one thing about time moving more quickly people know it people can recognize that children today they don't look as old by the time you graduate high school today they still look young and this goes exactly along with the theory of time speeding up and what that is is the day night cycle moves more quickly our clocks just go along with that people have this bad assumption that clocks are always the same no matter what i remember in the 90s looking at that clock waiting, counting the last seconds for school to be out, watching the minutes go by, counting one, one thousand, two, one thousand. I remember they will not gaslight me. And, uh, the evidence it's along with the theory. If, if time is moving more quickly today, you still get the same number of days. You still get uh, a 10 year old has still seen the same number of days as a 10 year old in times past. It's just that the days are so much shorter. And circadian rhythms are still a thing, but just less time has elapsed. And to me, I run this backwards too. That To me, that means that there have been eras in the past where time was so slow. And that matches what they tell us about history too. They tell us that in historical times, there were times where people would get up in the middle of the night and do things for hours and then go back to sleep. That's exactly what you would expect if you were in a really slow time period that and the same thing with all the night watches and stuff, how you have different shifts throughout the night. I think time used to be a lot slower than it is today. And the Bible, Jesus Christ, this is prophecy from Jesus Christ, said that the days shall be shortened. It's exactly what it is today. Today's days are so short. December flew by, man. Here's the Apollo astronauts, uh, Hollywood stars. And this is the gorilla video. We'll just watch this and end, end the video. If you know, if you know it's so obvious that this is a suit, and there's nothing magical or illuminated about these people that aren't scared, they just know the secret. But it's so clearly Hollywood to me now that I know the secret. The magic disappears. Man. People in the comments even were like, I can't believe that that's the sound that it makes. It sounds like mashing two coconuts together. It's ridiculous. And uh, yeah, because it is, it's a monkey suit. I think that's all I had for this video. And so I'll, I'll leave it at this. Let me know what you think might happen in 2024. And keep your eyes on the prize. I mean, hopefully if you're watching this and you've been following me, you came to the same conclusion as me that this world is fake and the only truth is Jesus Christ and he's the only way out of this place. And that's it for this video. God bless.